Ableton Live has some fantastic audio to MIDI, MIDI to audio conversion capabilities. And it's easy, dude. I've got my packs here. This is deep tech and something else. Basically, the procedure here is I'm going to audition my track. Okay, I think it's a fantastic line for this. It's audio, so I'm just going to take it and put it into the open field, and it creates an audio track. Now, the browser gets shut. The thing gets brought up, and I can see that it's a little short here, so I want to get in here and turn on the warp switch and make sure that this thing can go a little bit out. Sounds good. I don't know why I'm fussing with it. I'm just going to move it a little out, just like so. And then that allows me to go all the way to the end. Okay. Just a quick little nip and tuck there. Okay. And this is wrong here. So I'm going to move this back. And that's good. So now I want to recreate this melody in another synthesizer. So I'm going to shut this so you can see it and close some of these up. Option, drag, just like so. And then open up number seven and pull it down again. Okay, I'm going to right click. I'm going to describe some things to you. If I select this and say slice to new MIDI track, it's going to take every single little hit in here and slice it up to a sampler so that I could play it across a keyboard. Then I have three other options. I can convert harmony to a new MIDI track, melody to a new MIDI track, and drums. In this case, I don't want these chords. I want this melody. So I'm going to select convert melody to new MIDI track. And there it goes. And a new MIDI track is established directly underneath with a MIDI pattern, like so. Okay, not in love with the sound, but that's easy to fix. I go over to the newly created MIDI track, and I do my hot swap button here, and I pick a different preset while we're rolling. Remember, my swapped instrument button is X'd. I've got orange. Okay, that just gives me enough ice on the cake to suck it back behind like this. And again, if my notes are wrong, I can addition those and edit them to taste. But they got it. They got it. I might take this down. Okay, so that is create a new melody from audio. Let's see if we can resurrect this horrible little track here. And I'm going to make a longer version of it by shift selecting two, command J, consolidate into two bars. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create drums from this. And a new sampler track is going to be added. And of course, I can edit that into submission. It doesn't want to feel too quantized because the source material wasn't that quantized. So I select that, right click and say quantize. All right, so there it is. There is the choice of slice to new MIDI track, which will give me 
all these little pieces of audio spread across the keyboard from C1 to, you know, C7. I have Convert Harmony to New MIDI Track, which looks at chords and tries to transpose chords. Convert Melody to New MIDI Track and Convert Drums to New MIDI Track. So it doesn't take too much imagination if you don't have keyboard skills, but you have a microphone and you can sing a melody into an audio track and then turn that into MIDI and manipulate that. In the next tutorial, we're going to try to create a song structure out of this mess. Mm -hmm.